Hello YouTube, today we are going to talk about Spring REST. So, as you can see, I already created a project using Spring Initializer. First of all, we need to create a controller. For all of you who don't know what controller is, well, controller, controller is a piece of code which defines an pro entry point to the app. So, first of all, we need to create a controller class named controller. So, idea is to create a couple of controller methods which will return first name and last name separately. So, this is, as you can see, this is just a basic class. Spring Boot doesn't look to this class as it's some controller or service or a repository, but it's just a plain class. So, in order to, to say to Spring Boot that this class is a controller, we need to add annotation. REST controller. Okay, so now Spring Boot will look to this name controller as a controller class. Okay, first of all, we need to define what our def request and response will look like. This is not a mandatory thing, but just something to check if we are on the right track. So, we're gonna use HTTP localhost because that is on our, on our computer, 881 port and get first name and query parameter which is f name or first name George. Uh, response will be my name is George. Okay. So we're going to have another method, get last name, IL name, my last name is Lucas. So in order to create this request and to send this response, we need a method. And before method, we need to define what HTTP method we will use. So we'll use get method with path and path in the, in the URL is this, get first name. So we're going to put this and now we have path to this method and method itself will, will return string get f name. Or get first name if you want to look a little nicer and return my name is plus name plus this request pam f name string name just to split this to look a little nicer okay okay so now we have a path to the method. Once we send request to this URL, we will trigger this method. And in order to our um, method to work, we need another qu query parameter, which will be sent f name equals to George. So key value is this in order. So we have f name, which is packed into name string name and return as a response. Same thing we can use here, but just change path. Get last name, get last name here. It's L name, L name, and change a little message. Last name is, yeah, you can add L name just to be readable. So now we have a controller. So, run demo application. Okay, so our application started and now we have to check if it really works. So, get localhost 881, get first name, F name, George. So, if we click send, my first name is George. 
we have to make some space here in order to, to make it more readable. Reload the application. Our application started. So if we send a request now, my first name is George. If we send get first get last name, sorry, and L name Lucas. My last name is Lucas, so we already have to we need to fix this here also. Reload application. Stop. Reload. Okay, application started. My last name is Lucas. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Let's just go through one more time. So we created a class with name, name controller, added annotation rest controller in order to spring boot uh, see this class as a controller, use get mapping annotation to point uh, to this method when this path is used use this get mapping to point to this method when this path is used. Both mandatory fields are f name for get first name and l name for the get last name. That would be all for this first tutorial. Next time we're going to talk about services, repositories and make a full run through controllers, services, repositories and back. So we're going to send a request and get a response. That would be all. Thank for, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.